Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. Our faithful cultivating tractor is herring off across the field and doing a magnificent job too, I might add. There is one little tiny spot over there which I'm actually going to go and get right now so that we can be certain that this is all done over here. And I don't think there are any other little spots that have been left behind. I think the rest of it has all been dealt with nicely. So if I just run over here and grab that bit there so that it can be planted, because we don't have a direct drill on here, so any spots that are left behind will be left behind permanently. There will be no correcting them. They will be there forever, and they will be there in the new field of crop as well, which we don't really want. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that we want to avoid. So if I bring you back round over here now, and then line you up on there, that's about right on there. You can carry on, and then we want to head down over here. So uh, this is the next thing I want to do, is I want to get this one, and I want to go racing off down across the field load this one back up with seed and then bring it back up here so that we can carry on doing the planting. I will just double check that end of the field in a minute to see that we've got all of the planting has been done accurately over there. I think it's going all right. I don't have any reason to believe that it's not. Then once we've got that one going, the next task on our list will be to get that fertilizer spinner that we've been doing the lime with. And while this planting is underway, we're going to spread lime on the field to our left and get that one going. Uh, once all the lime is spread on that field, we will then do a coat of fertilizer across that field. Uh, oops, I don't want to lower that one down. I want to lower that one down like that and then fill it up with corn like that and then off we go again. Right, that's now filled up with seed and we can head off over here. So yeah, I want to put lime on that field, then we will put fertilizer on there I believe. Let's have a look, we've got lime. Uh, yes, we will put a coat of fertilizer on the field and then we can do the planting once we've done that. And then after the planting, we'll be able to put another round of fertilizer on the field and that will be everything done apart from weeding or herbicide application, whichever one we decide to go and do when the time is right. There's a bigger dip right there than I actually thought there was. I realize it was quite that severe. Uh, over here, this, there is a little bit that's being missed, just around the edge of this bit, so let's do that a minute. I know that it does, the, the tractor does struggle a bit to pull this one, but he's, he's doing alright. Okay, he really struggles a bit to pull this one, but he's, he's still doing the job, he's, he, is, he is still getting around there. And we we'll drag that one up there. There is a little bit of a triangle, but I reckon that we may end up leaving a couple of bits of triangle shapes on this one anyway. I'm going to take it up and I'm going to go on up the hill. I'm going to go further on this one. No particular reason other than I think we should. Um, it'll probably go right out to the edges of the field without any problems without me having to do this, but I don't really want to sort of test it, find out. I reckon it'd be better if I just work my way up across the field here. If I can do that without it sliding sideways all over the place right that'll do that that will do that'll do just fine up there and then if i come back down here we could end up with a couple of triangle spots down here i know that we've already got one just there which i'm about to deal with so i'll take that one out clean that there we go that's fine and then I can go running back up across the field over here i've already done a little bit of sort of tidy up over there I might actually just go and do a pass around the big stone here a minute so that I've at least got some edge to this one being marked out. Ready for when our machine is working this bit of the field. I don't know how much difference it's going to make, but it should do something, I would have thought. And 
Bring you round like that. The cultivator is doing great. Hopefully the cultivator is going to go up the other end and it's going to do the little short bit up the other end before it comes all the way back down here and then we can sort of just deal with the last little bit down here. Uh, you right across there like that. That's done. And then I can go over here and you're heading that way. And you can keep going with planting your corn over here. We're doing well with this one. We're doing very well. We're going to have a huge field of corn. Which means that we should also have a huge amount of grain here once all of this is done. So that's finished there. Next job on the list. You can just stay doing what you're doing. I want to take these bales here a minute and I want to go and stick them out over the other side. We're going to need to be able to load some of these into the straw blower. And I was actually thinking that we could load some of these into the straw blower right now. And then go and tidy them back up again. It will mean making a bit of a mess of bales here everywhere if I try and do that though. So maybe it'd be better if we didn't. Uh, I'll have to load them from here. And we've already got bales in there which I think is going to cause more. You know, I, I think that's just going to end up like bugging everything out. So uh, instead of doing that I will leave it as it is. And I will just bring these bales over here. Now I'm going to put these a slightly different angle I think but we'll put them over here like this so you can go there and then we can load you on like that and then I can put you down there like that you gonna roll no nope, you're gonna stay there good excellent right they can stay there and then I can whiz on round I got nine bales of straw left for the square bales, I'm not. I was wondering about taking those out this way and using them up over here somewhere, but I don't think I will. I think we will leave them where they are. So that one's going to go back and go to its parking spot, which is right there, and then we are going to go straight over this side, and we're going to grab that spreader, and we're going to start getting lime onto the field over here. There we go, and then once I've done the lime here, that's fertilizer there. I emptied all the lime out then, did I? I must have done. Um, once we've... Yes, I did. I emptied all the lime out because a tiny, tiny little bit left up the top that I didn't want to actually bother doing. So I can bring you in here and... I'll lower you down and fill you up with lime right there. Get that one loaded. While that loads a second, let's go and check how we're doing here you are doing perfect you over here have gone up there and said you've completed your task i thought you might i thought you might do that when you got over to this side there's a couple of little spots that we need to pick up just here and then there's obviously that one spot back where he just literally told us just then that he finished his task when he quite clearly hadn't finished all of his task but this is the kind of laziness that we expect from our hired help these days. And you, we, we're, we, we've kind of become immune to such things now. We, we expect it. We expect this sheer bone idle laziness from them at all times. So it's no longer so much of a surprise when they do it. It used, it used to be, it used to be a, a surprise. It used to be, you know... A, I always felt somewhat let down by the performance of our hired help, but I, I no longer feel I, I no longer feel that way. I've I've become used to their lazy ways now, and um, it's just kind of ex we have to accept it as that is how they are, and we know that there will be no improvement. Um, so, yeah, if, if that one actually, I think that's going to work out perfectly. We'll start from this side. They're going to work all the way down into the slightly longer runs over there. And then this field will be done. Yeah, you know what? You can carry on over there. And let's get going with you. I need to I need to actually get going. We, we want to get this, this one underway. Uh, you would probably help if I didn't start spreading immediately. I'm going to just go and put that back in there in it. Right, we've just gone and wasted $13 worth of line there. Because I pressed B instead of um, N for putting the cover back on. And we're going to go into the field right here and then actually start spreading lime. Now there was a tiny little strip along the bottom of the other field that I said that I might do. I'm not going to do that tiny little strip. I'm going to leave the other field. We're just going to worry about putting lime on this field here. 
Um, there is a bit of a yield hit when you don't spread lime on the field, but the kind of the overall total area that is being affected on that field over there is so minuscule as to not count in the slightest. So we're going to just not worry about it. Uh, I'll take this right down to the end of the field down here. I'm not going to try turning into the corner. I'll just bring it all the way back down there and then stop. And then we will go back up round like this. And we'll carry on up this way. Like so. I will manually do once around the edge of the field. Although I'm not going to be able to get all the way around the edge of the field before we need to go and reload again. And then we can set the hired help working. And working, getting its way across this field. And then once that's done, we want to get straight in here with planting as well. So we can get our canola planted here. That's the highest yielding of the protein crops, apparently, is the canola. So we will get as much of that into this field as we possibly can. Every single little inch of it will be covered with canola. And that means we'll have our protein crop. We're currently out of protein crop for the pigs. So we're going to need a bit more. Um, I don't want to be run. I don't want to be running out of any. So... The idea, I, what I'm also not allowed to do is something that I did say. It wasn't like one of the original rules, but it is a rule that we brought in. I'm not allowed to put the same crop in the same field twice. So that big field up there, we're doing that all with corn. And then we're doing canola down here. So I'm thinking that after the canola, this one we will do corn. And then that one will probably end up, it'll be wheat or barley, I should think, up there. That's kind of what I've got in mind up there, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure. I do think we ought to do corn on this field here, um, mainly because, like the big. I can't go and do a second round of corn up on the big field because I can't do two consecutive crops the same. So I'm not going to be able to go and do corn up there, and we are going to need lots and lots of corn. So chances are we will need more than just what we get off of that. Um, big field for one harvest so we plan on doing corn down here and then we need more wheat and barley so at the moment I'll be doing canola uh, so if we do corn down here we could do wheat or barley up on that field up there but then there's going to be a massive quantity of straw up there and that's leading me to think that maybe we don't want to be planning on that Maybe we should just do another protein crop up there, and that will be all protein crop then taken care of. We're not going to need any more protein crop after that. Um, not with another huge, great big round of it. I, I, I don't really know. We, we, we will have to kind of play this one a bit by ear, I think. Um, because we've also got the distinct possibility that we won't need any more protein crop. Right? Once we've done the canola on this field we may very well end up not needing any more protein crop at all in order to be able to finish our little challenge that we want to do I'm trying to turn this so that i don't leave a square behind like that like uh, as i turn around the corner I'm trying to leave it so i don't leave a bit behind and all i've done is i've very carefully left a little tiny piece in beside that stone now that doesn't have lime on it i'm bit i'm bitterly disappointed with my own performance right there um, let's bring that one in there and then spread it like that. So there's the 25 kilos that I had on board. 25 kilos? I don't think it is kilos at all. Well, I know it's litres. Uh, I, I believe from what was said last week that actually it's, um, it's quite a bit lighter. It's like the, the 3,000 litres is not 3 tonnes. And I did say somewhere that we'll call 1,000 kilos... I don't know if it was last week or the week before, but someone picked up on it and had a good chuckle. Um, I think I was talking about milk. or slur I think I was talking about slurry, actually. And I said, we'll call 1,000 kilos a ton. I actually meant to say 1,000 liters, not 1,000 kilos. But I'm pretty, I said, we'll call 1,000 kilos a ton. Um, I don't think anybody at any point is going to be arguing with me that 1,000 kilos is not a ton. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i i didn't realize i'd said that so uh well done to the whoever it was that picked up on it uh yeah as, so, as soon as they said i i thought back I, well i know exactly what you're talking about and i know that i know the time that you're talking about 
Um, but I don't remember saying a thousand kilo. Like, it's the sort of thing that I would say without realizing that I'd said it and then afterwards be like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't actually mean it like that. Um, so we'll, we'll put that down to one of those. Oh, yeah, haha, <laughs> I didn't actually mean it like that. And then we'll leave it. Right, Lime, you hired help, finish field. Can you do it? I don't know. It probably can't. I need to move this. Let's go and move this one now, and then we'll go and check on the vehicles at the top. We'll go and sell a little bit more slurry. We've sold several loads of this slurry now, and we're you know, we're at thirteen hundred dollars per thousand uh, per thousand per. Uh, if it was per thousand liters, we'd have made an absolute fortune by this point. But no, it's not thirteen hundred per thousand. It's Thirteen hundred dollars per load. So every load of slurry that we go take out and we sell, we get one thousand three hundred dollars. Doesn't seem like a huge amount. I mean, in real life, that would be quite a bit. I I'd be quite happy to be getting that kind of money, especially the number of loads that you can pump out in a day. That that wouldn't be too bad. Um, but we don't. In in this game, that that doesn't seem like very much at all. That's that's um, it's fairly low numbers. Right, you're doing the long runs. Colour me surprised. They normally go and do the short runs first. So they're like, they, they come out this side, but then they reverse all the way down there and do the short runs anyway. Just because, for no particular reason. Oh, that, I, I was wondering, who's stopped work already? It's, it's none of these up here, is it? It's this dude down here. And he's got to that little awkward bit, so we'll manually do that, and then we'll push it over there. I reckon two more loads would just about do everything that we need to do here for this. So we'll go back to our lime tower and we'll reload. And this should, in theory... Oops, no, won't do that. This should, in theory, be the last time that we need to spread lime on our fields. In theory, we should not need to do any more lime on any of our fields after we have done this load right here um this load this um this round of lime right here once we've done this that'll be it in theory there should be no more need for lime after this because we should be able to get all of the animals that we need and all of the feed and and so on that we need in order to complete the series before we get round to doing three more lots of crops and needing to have lime applied across the fields again. Whether or not that's actually going to be the case, I don't really know. But uh, we will see. It, quite cool if it is. Like, I, I, you, I can feel the, the end drawing near. I can absolutely feel the end drawing near now. I'm going to just take this one. We, The other one has gone and finished. The other tractor is finished. So we'll be able to bring that one down from the top field. There isn't anything else that I need to do with that tractor at the moment other than some stuff around the yard. So we're going to put the front loader on it and we're going to tidy up the cows. Because that was something that we didn't do in the morning. And so they've still got that massive great big pile of silage there. So that's going to be one of the first things we're going to do once we get that um, machine down from the top field. You can start unloading again. You over this side... There's a little tiny triangle left down on that lower side of the stone. And he's just left a little triangle up here. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Uh, then I want to go to this one. And you've finished. You've actually finished all of it. And it's looking fairly neat and tidy as well. So we're going to fold that one up. Oh. Unfold. It's looking fairly neat and tidy, but he still managed to stop before getting that little tiny bit right there, didn't he? Just that last little bit there. Right, now I will fold it up. We'll take it round the road and we will drive this one back to the farm. We will hose it all off. We'll hose off the tractor as well. We will repair tractor and cultivator. We will put cultivator away in shed. And then we will get front loader onto tractor. We will move the trailer load of... Um, mixed feed that is in the yard the total mixed ration that we've got there we will put that in for the cows and then we will pull the trailer forward slightly and we will start loading that trailer up with 
um, all of the silage that is in front of our cows over there. Except that I'm not going to go and do all of that at the moment. I'm going to go straight to this tractor right here. It's got a little tiny, tiny triangle there that still needs to be done. We'll deal with that in a bit. We go up here. We're going to start over on the short run side, I think, over there somewhere and, and do that. But it's not going to use up an entire uh, load of lime for this last bit, I don't think. I think there will be a tiny bit left here and there. Let's go to there. Lower you down. Load you back up like that. Get that one all loaded up. I'm just going to sit here and wait for this one rather than skipping off to another vehicle. And see that tractor working away up in the field. I'm going to leave that one going. I'm not going to interfere with it now. And and we can just go around and like tidy things up right at the very end. Get back to that one later. Uh, this here, you're going to go straight through the yard. And you're going to start your next little bit over on this side of the field. You're going to go over here, and it's going to be over there. Okay, I am going to go and interfere with that other tractor, because he's now needing some help. That one's going to go there. Spread out across there. See, it, not very much is needed in order to finish this field. Uh, you, no, I don't want you there. I go to that one. Oh, you came right up to this very end to finish. Well, that's all right. We will do a little bit of tidying up there. And then what I'll do is I'll start working on the short side of the stone. So I'm going to take you... Actually, I'm going to go straight down the field this side. Right the way down there. And go out of the field through the entrance over here. Which is the... Actually, which side are we? That's the south... Uh, yeah, the southwest entrance to the field. And then we head back over this way. No, wait, that's not the southwest. What entrance? Let's have a look here. Over here. Okay, that's just the south entrance to the field. Just there. That would that would be classed as the southern entrance to the field rather than the southwest. This is southwest of the field over here in our farm. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Let's go and get this one loaded up with seed. There is the lime spreader. And is it going to spread lime across the entire field? It is. It's actually spreading over all of it just for that last little bit there. He's got 1,600 litres of lime on board. He should be able to finish all of it with that single pass right there. Let's bring you back this way a bit and... To lower you down as we come in. You've got to go right up to the tank with this one. Like that. Or it doesn't get close enough to actually load up, unfortunately. And then we can lift it back up and we can carry on again. Now what are you doing? Uh, you're not spreading anymore, are you? You didn't ought to be. What are you doing? I'm gonna just tell the hired help to stop there for a second. And I know I got the other sea drill that needs to get going, but that one's actually closer to finishing its task than this one is over here. What we need to do next is I need to get fertilizer on this field, but I also need to get this field planted as well. So I'm gonna get this one back. Um... Wait a minute, there is one little... There, there's a strip along there. So I've, as I've got a 1,000 litres of lime left over, I'm going to go over to this field over here and I'm going to chuck a strip of lime along here. I didn't actually mean to go up there. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'm going to chuck a strip of lime along here, along the lower end of the field, and that's just going to cover up the strip that's needed all the way down through here whether there's going to be another strip needed a little bit higher up um i, I just want to use up the rest of the lime i don't want to have a little bit left over at the end so i go to there and that's taking all of that out right the, the last 150 liters 
doesn't really matter so i'll just spread that up here as i reverse and there right lime is all gone so i can go now load up with the fertilizer that we've got left in the yards which was already in this machine and then i can top it up with a bit more fertilizer get that straight out into this field over here and start spreading fertilizer up and down here and as soon as that has all finished being spread then I can go and get the... You know what? Thinking about it, I ought to have the other tractor on this one. If I bring you round here like this. And I bring you over to there like that. I did say that I that other tractor didn't have any job to do. But it does. It's got this job to do. So if we open that one and... Oh, wait. No. No, 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 no. Stop. Didn't want to do, I didn't want to do that. I've got loads of the stuff over here and I need to load this up there yeah, I need to load these up how many have I got here right is that one is that one full or not okay I, I went and bought too much right fine we'll, we'll have to we'll have to change that over so you over here I need to lower you down like that and take you off. I don't want you on here for a minute. So that one can just go over to there. Then we... Not you. No. You. I need to get you back to the yard. I need to get the fertilizer spinner hooked onto this tractor. Start spreading fertilizer with this one. So that I can immediately start uh, doing the drilling in the field with the case and then we're not going to sort of be getting behind with the drill the drilling that we need to be doing in there either so you need to come over this way which means that i haven't got time to stop and wash and uh, repair this cultivator so what we're going to do with that one instead is i'm going to bring it around like that and how i didn't just hit that rake i'll never know nothing short of a minor miracle i think and we will come out round here like this. So the cleaning of the cows is going to have to wait. We have to go and do this fertilizer spreading first. It's more important to get this done. So that we can get into that field with the planting. The planting has to be done. We have to get that planting underway. So if I bring you back over here like this. There we go. And then the easy way to do this, I think, is if I start from here like this and I can start spreading fertilizer down this side and then I'll go in a line along the rock and then once I've reached the uh, top corner over there I can then just set the hired help going and that will be working up and down the field then I will come back and I will get the case puma and I will get our seed drill hooked up onto that one I can get that one set up and that one can start working this field as well and then when I've done that, then I can go back and get the planter with the corn that we've reloaded. And that one can then be sent off up across the field up there to go and carry on doing whatever it's doing up that side. So we've got a master plan. Now all we have to do is bring the master plan to fruition. Let's bring you back down here like this. The only thing that could mess this up is if uh, it doesn't, like properly clean up the bottom end down there with the fertilizer if it doesn't reach it probably won't reach right to the end but i can i can go and tidy that up in a minute if we get this one started then i can deal with the fertilizer bit in a minute and the rest of the grain uh, the rest of the corn being planted up the top that's not quite so important because we've done most of that up there now so all we got to do is we've, we've just got like the last little bits to go and finish off the, the shorter runs up at the top. And that's going to be a whole lot faster than what we're doing right here. So I need to go over this way. I'm going to have to go the long way around on this. I will just double check that this one is fully repaired. Because I don't remember if I actually repaired it when I put it away or not. Uh, yeah, that's fully repaired. I won't worry about the tractor tractor repair at the moment is fine so we don't need to concern ourselves with it let's go this way and we go pull up alongside the seed tank over here and get that one loaded up we also need to make sure that we're planting the right crop that is canola that we're sticking in here 
Unload that, uh, unload, uncover that one there, like that. And bring you round here, like this, that one there. Perfect, excellent, look at that. Cover that one up there, and then uh, fill that one up there, sorry, and then cover it over like that. So now you can come over this way, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this one from here. Just from this corner, right here, we'll start that, and we will head off down here, and... I know I'm pulling on quite a tight corner there to start with, but I think that's probably going to be all right. As long as you don't do it too much. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's probably twisted and bent all the coulters on this one to start off with, which is not great, but it will cope. I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely positive that it can just cope with it. I'll bring you on around here. Right. This is what I don't get. What? Why? Where are you going? What exactly are you doing? That what? What exactly is that hired help doing at the moment? This I'm, I'm so concerned about the hired help that I'm not watching what I'm doing with this one and driving in weird circles all over the place. I'll have to come back and I'll finish like tidying up the field afterwards with this one. Oh, he's turned round. He's 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 done like some sort of weird circuit, but he has gone back to the right place. Why has he stopped? Seriously, why have you stopped? It had it, it stopped, and but it hadn't said that it had uh, finished or done anything else. It, it literally just it was sat there, not doing anything at all. But I don't know what that. I don't. I don't know why it was turning around in that particular direction. That seemed very weird. I've not seen that before. Well, yes, I have actually. It did it over there with the lime as well, didn't it? It was, it was going around in strange circles. I don't know what that's all about. Very, very peculiar. We'll have to wait and see. Right, now you over here. We know that that road sign over there does sort of mess things up a little bit. So we want to ignore that. And we're just going to have the spreader go this way now. Along here. I've already done the other bit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spreader all along the bottom edge of the field. And then I, well, and up the triangle bit over there. And then I'll start it working over that side. And let it work back towards where we've just done here. So I'm going to bring you up around this way. And then... Nothing... Like, there shouldn't be... None of them should sort of interfere with any of the others. At least this is what I'm hoping. They should all be able to just keep going. And not get in each other's way. And not cause any problems. At least this is what I'm hoping. We will soon find out. Um... Yeah, so you, I need to swing you in round like that. I do need to just do this one all the way up to the top end because otherwise it's not got, it won't have enough room to turn round on this angled part. And as soon as I've got this bit done, then I can hop into that one over there. Except that's going to have to be in our next episode because I have now run out of time for this episode. So we can just finish up doing this little bit and then we can carry on with doing our planting up at the top in our next round uh, so let's bring you over to there and then you can swing out over here hopefully that one over there is doing fine I think he is I think he's I, I think he's doing just fine right and then I bring you down over here H there right and you should be able to go and do the rest of this now but any problems whatsoever he comes out to there. Now, this, this is the bit, I think, is just because of how it was, like, up the other end on there. I I, I don't really know. So I, I'll leave that one go. Uh, there's enough time for the fertilizer spreader to get over to this one before we're going to need to worry about it. So that will be fine as well. And I can get to you. You now need to get out of the way. You're going to be in the way of that fertilizer spreader if you stay there. So you can go up over here and we can get you back to planting or I get you ready for planting at the beginning of the next episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Fritgar. Goodbye and see you later.